early March and the Solent is still quite calm. In the summer we can watch all the racing happen here. All the marine traffic, it's lovely. So from the decking we can see all the way from Gurnard Bay and the Sailing Club, Southampton waters there, Forley there, Bewley where the sun sets in the summer, all the way west where the sun is setting at the moment. So on the decking, which is on the north side, opposite the Solent, this is all private decking. And we have chalet number six for sale and chalet number five for sale and they are a pair so together they make a detached chalet if somebody wants to buy the two but they are available singly so these doors open again they fold back again to make a completely open space which is great in the summer so this is the living area it's got a fitted kitchen in it gas The heating is underfloor heating, fired by the gas boiler. And the chalet is vaulted throughout, except for the bathroom. So in the sitting room, we've got the two Vlux windows. And through to the utility area in the middle of the chalet. Tall fridge freezer on the end there. Plumbing for washing machine underneath the worktop here and storage. The door has been fitted just short so you can fit shelves or bookcase or whatever behind the door. We've got a little table for our guests here. This is the bathroom, which you can hear the uh, extractor going at the moment. And above the bathroom, we've got a huge mezzanine storage area. And then there is a Vlux window in this utility area as well. So if we go into the bathroom, all the doors are solid oak. Heated towel rail there. That's where the gas boiler lives above the loo. Underfloor heating again. Bath with a shower above. And this pebble tiling in the bathroom above the taps. bedroom where there's another way into the chalet which could be called the front door. We've got a generous double bedroom in here.
Again, room behind the door for a fitted unit or wardrobe, chest of drawers. Vaulted ceiling again. So if we go out onto the south side, we have decking on the south side, which has got the sun on it all the way up until lunchtime. The sun's just going around the corner. And we have views across the Gunnard Valley there. So views both sides of the chalets. So that's Chalet 6, and we're going to look at Chalet 5 next, which is identical but handed. So again, you've got the south side breakfast decking, for want of a better word. This is the land on the south, which takes you up to the road, and you can get off street parking where those gates are, come through there. And coming into the bedroom of Chalet 5, so exactly the same as Chalet 6, but handed, mirrored. Into the utility area, which is done up slightly differently. The fridge isn't in this utility area. It's actually in the living area in the chalet. But this space here is two foot six deep, which means you can get some bunks in that space if you wanted to have somewhere for children to stay. Okay. Again, identical bathroom, boiler, bath, shower, tablet, lovely tiling, underfloor heating throughout. And into chalet five, there's the fridge in this one. Same kitchen. Same wonderful view, panoramic view, completely uninterrupted. Look at that. Now, this chalet and the one next door, if somebody bought the two, you could knock the through together, the two of them together, and you could do that through this wall here and have one long, large living space. You could also knock through here and have a central room, maybe even move the kitchen into this central room and have the living area just for dining and sitting. Or maybe you could create a third bedroom. These beds are Ottoman beds, which means they lift up at the foot and there's a huge amount of storage underneath, which is important for small living spaces. This is actually a quiet residential road at the bottom, Marsh Road. We don't really get much traffic through here except for residents. It's not a cut through to anywhere. <laughs> 